the police here are corrupt and they will want bribes and mm -hmm. pull you over for speeding and you've done nothing wrong. We just got stopped, a car pulled up and just said, just said no. Yeah, like fires, tires on fire, crazy Shocking. stuff. 82 days ago, we entered Morocco. We were excited, nervous, and keen to immerse ourselves into traveling through this country. Morocco seems to be a bit like Marmite. Some people love it and some people hate it. We were lucky enough to have the best first impressions when we arrived here, and so it seemed only fitting to return to the same place for our final night in Morocco. Today is the day that we catch our ferry back to Spain, which is all very exciting, but in true fashion, things haven't gone to plan because last night at 12 o'clock, Teddy woke up and was sick. So that sickness bug that we had last week is still doing the rounds and it's now Teddy's turn. So he's been sick maybe about five times now. We were supposed to leave for the early ferry, like early doors. I think we're supposed to leave at like 7 a.m., get the 9 a.m. ferry. But we just wanted to give him a bit of time just to sit, let his tummy settle and see how he is. He's a bit better now, so I think we're gonna, we're gonna risk driving to the port with a sick bowl in the front, obviously, and just hope, hope that it just passes and he feels a bit better. Then we had to stop as Teddy started throwing up. Once that mess was tidied away, off we went again. That's the first sign of Spain for like nearly three months. Feels good. Yeah, it feels good, feels exciting. Last bit left, what have we got? We've got 11 minutes left till we get to port. Save the 11 minutes of Morocco. I'm doing 99 kilometers an hour, it's the fastest I've ever been in this truck. Oh, oh now What's I've got that? my warning, taco warning. Oh. High speed. You're too fast. I was yeah. about to say, can you not make it to like 100? Just funsies. Well, is, no. is that a challenge? No, 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 don't. <laughs> I wouldn't normally let it go that quick, but we're on a big, long, straight, I can see right up ahead, so it's all good. Just don't get a speed ticket. Oh, yeah, I'll slow down actually. We're not running out of money. I would say we've been very lucky not to get a speeding ticket, but you've actually just been really good, so. Oh, well, we've got some spare mirrors. <laughs> There we go, so we've just arrived at the port. It's a little bit different because you have to get out and go and check in. We just pulled up and we saw the big sign for like ticket sales and check in. And it's like, where do we actually go? There's no like road or lane. So I think you just go in, get out and go in yourself. So Rick's gone in, I'm hoping, really hoping that he just can go in by himself and we all don't need to get out because Ted's obviously still being sick. I don't feel good. Piper doesn't feel good. So, you know, it'd be much better if we can just stay inside. How was it? Was Fully it booked. No, was it fine you going in? We don't need to come. Yeah, no, you don't need to come. All sorted, man. Next one is 12.30. Okay, cool. So it's literally like two and a half hours. So what do we do here now? We then go, we go through, we proceed. What now? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. So okay. all good, that goes in the window, got our tickets in there. All, all good, good for 12.30. All right then. Yeah, get back in my How seat. easy was that bit? That's the first bit done. Yeah, that bit was easy. That bit was easy. <sighs> I still talk like I still talk to them like they're 
A baby. Baby. Um, I'm just going to nip in the back of the toilet. Oh, lovely. Enjoy. So. <laughs> my last poop in Morocco, I, baby. I'm not going to cut that out. We're just driving through all these booths and we have no idea what we're doing, do we? <laughs> <laughs> We've literally just drove through all customs, they're all just All police out. checks it says, but the windows are all dirty, nothing's going on. I mean, so. here it says police and customs up ahead, so that must be like, maybe that's the old stuff. Maybe. But it seems really quiet as well, doesn't it? There's no one really here. And no. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't see any other motorhomes. In fact, there's a few in the queue. But... Well, I saw a few up here in the distance, so I wonder where they've gone, but... Yeah, there's a one right up ahead down there. Is it? Yeah, I can see him. And this is a boat area. Oh, there we go. Yeah, two, two up, up ahead. Hill Play Park, guys. I don't think they're well enough for that, Dad. No. <laughs> you might be. Oh, so that's the other boat coming in for that queue over there, isn't it? Yeah. Valeria. Parking nine. We are, and we're right next to this, so we've got a little bit of space to relax. So we've got two hours to wait now until we depart. So we thought we'd share with you some common misconceptions about Morocco and what we think about them. That is, of course, once he's stopped stuffing his face. Stop him, yeah. <laughs> nice muffin, this is. You'll have to bear with me. So number one, safety. Is it safe? And in particular, is it safe for kids? Yeah, so we can only go on what our experience is, and that is we've been in three months. We cannot report one single incident where we have felt unsafe. No. But if we were to flip it and say how many times were we welcomed? How many times did we feel... Um, I don't know, sort of, you know, feel really sort of comfortable yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, we're greeted with open arms to say mm -hmm. we can count loads of those times. So, yeah, I this think, is the country that has felt the most welcoming out of everywhere we've been. Oh, without a shadow everywhere. of that. You can go down the street and you'll have kids on bikes just going, welcome to Morocco and yeah. all this stuff. And it's just really, really yeah. nice. It's a good feeling. Yep. Yeah. So is it safe? Our experience? Thumbs up from us. Thumbs up, but I will add, I will add that we have traveled a little bit differently to how we usually would, and we haven't put ourselves in situations where we might feel a little bit unsafe. So we've played, probably, we've played it safe and we've felt safe. Yeah, like, you, there are cultural differences where you might want to adapt the way you travel. So like what Kira's saying is like in Spain and most areas, uh, or not most areas, but other places we've traveled, yeah. um, Kira will go out by herself and go to the shops and go out flirting with men or whatever you All do. The time. Not sure what she does, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, here she hasn't felt comfortable no, to go out. Yeah, that's fair. You know, and I haven't really felt comfortable no. doing sort of, you know, with Kira wandering off as well. But there and are plenty of solo females that are, are that are out here. And, doing just, it. and just to flip that in reverse, Rick also hasn't gone out by himself much. So it's like. Yeah, not you a know, huge amount. Not a huge amount. You have, but not a huge amount. Not as much as maybe you usually would. Yeah. So, there we go. Right, next misconception. The police here are corrupt and they will want bribes and mm -hmm. pull you over for speeding and you've done nothing wrong. So, what do you and think And we have, we have heard of a number of people being pulled over and handed out fines. However, every single one of them said they were speeding. So yeah. <laughs> you can also look at it and go, are the police corrupt for giving you a fine because you were breaking the law? Um, no, that's not corruption. Um, we haven't been pulled over a single time. And what makes Morocco very, very different to most countries yeah. is they have um, checkpoints literally everywhere. In every town, city, you will find multiple checkpoints, police checkpoints where they will pull people over. Yeah. So there's plenty of chance for them to pull you over. Yeah. And we've just not been pulled over once. Maybe we're just lucky, but we don't think the police are corrupt. <laughs> that reminds me of the middle. What's that song? We broke the law and the law Go won. On. <laughs> we broke the law and the law won. Name the movie. Yeah. It's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, then check it out. I'll just tell you the movie. It's Weird and Miller's. Yeah. Go and have a little watch. Brilliant. Final misconception. Uh, what is it? Is, uh, <laughs> is Morocco uh, really cheap? Now, 
I saw something on one of the Facebook groups that said when they travel, uh, and I don't know this person, no. they said Spain is half the price of the UK and Morocco's half the price of Spain. I don't think that person has travelled out of the UK. I think you're about to say but Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> This is a family channel. I'll bleep it out, it's fine. We'll bleep it out, yeah. Um, no, we don't find that. So Morocco is, is, there's two sides to Morocco in terms of cost. Um, if you go to the weekly markets, it's really cheap, isn't it? Mega cheap. You're going to be surprised and shocked at how you can grab so many fruit and vegetables, put them in your basket, in your bag, and it comes to very, very little. And it's, it's really nice, isn't yeah. it? You're like, oh, I got loads of, loads of stuff and it didn't cost me a lot. Yeah. But on the flip of that, there are certain supermarkets which are extremely and they are more expensive than the likes of Lidl in Spain and the main pro probably on par with UK prices and some things more yeah you know so shop local and it will be cost effective Just what about campsites so campsites yeah well it's, it's expensive for us because we don't usually stay at campsites where mm. in Morocco we've had to pretty much stay at campsites all the time bar one time we wild camp yeah which means that even though the campsites are cheap you know you can spend i don't know between five pound to 15 pound maybe would that be fair yeah like we the cheapest we paid was 40 dirham which is what four euros so about what three pound 20 something yeah. like that so that's the cheapest but it went up all the way to 240 dirhams yes which is 24 euros 19 well about 20 quid yeah I would say if you want to do it cheaper, then stay away from the European style campsites because they naturally up the price. Yeah, and, and to be honest, don't even go to the European style campsites because if, if, if that's the sort of thing you want, stay in, stay in Europe. Yeah. You know, um, there are plenty of really cool campsites uh, to stay at and all the rest. So, is Morocco cheap? It can be cheap, um, but it can also be expensive. Also, getting over here will set you back about. Yeah. 500 euros, something yeah, like that. Yeah, the ferry is quite expensive. Between ferry yeah. and insurance. Yeah. So there we go. But let us know any other questions you have specifically on Morocco and we will answer them in the comments or a future vlog for you. A short while later, we stood and watched as our boat docked in the port which then led to us getting into a spot of trouble. Well, that's a little bit funny because we were saying how we haven't been in any trouble with the police or everything's been fine, it's a whole trip. And we were just outside um, getting some footage of the boat. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by something going on outside. Um, we were getting some footage of the boat coming into dock and sort of, you know, some close-ups with the rope going out. You know, you'll have seen it now. Um, but we just got stopped, a car pulled up, the security people pulled up next to us and just said, just said, no, no filming, no photos. And he made me delete the last clip on the camera. I was very sneaky. Obviously, I've got more than one clip, so I just deleted the very I'm last one that I took. I've been sneaky, I'm telling you. No, so yeah, and then... It, the people, the French couple behind us who were taking a couple of pictures on their on their mobiles, as you do when you get a ferry, lots of people do this, they take a picture of the boat coming in, um, but they got told off as well and told to delete theirs, so yeah, if you want to film, probably best not to. I'm discreet filming now, but we're going down the boat, down this very, very steep ramp. There's another motorhome that's, the one that was in front of us has been reversed into a gap and oh, it's tight, really, really tight. Usually you go up a ramp or you just like drive straight on. We've never gone down a ramp like this before. Shush guys, please. Because it's such a short journey back to Spain, at only an hour and a half long, there are no cabins, just big lounge areas to relax in. Right, so you can move only one pencil. Yeah. Or pen. A, or pen. And make a square. You have to make a square, you can only move one. Wow. Are you there, Teddy? No, wait there. I need a square. You ready? Darn it, he did it as well. Did you know that or you just figured no, it out? No, I just figured it out. Did you? For ages, <laughs> I was looking at them all going, 
<laughs> How on earth does that work? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. One bend to make a square. We ended up waiting for over an hour before the ferry left the port and we were finally on our way back to Spain. That's us just about to get off the ferry. We're facing the wrong direction though, which means Rick has now got to do a bit of a turn. <laughs> I would say a three point turn, but it's definitely not going to be a three point turn. So. Oh, no, it's got to be a turning circle. Oh, it does actually, doesn't it? Yeah. That is, it is narrow. Yeah. 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 Ye
Easy peasy. Are you a happy boy now? Yes. <laughs> so we've been without something. Got the drone. Got the drone back. So you're not allowed to take drones over into Morocco unless you have special permits. So we left it here in Spain and I just picked it up. We just parked up in Algeciras or just outside Algeciras. Absolutely typical. My TomTom Tom app, which is my sat nav off my phone, has never messed up until we arrived back into Spain. It basically said half the roads around here were closed. So very annoying, but we managed to get here. Kira and Jack have gone out to Lidl to do a Lidl shop. I'm here with these two because they're the ones feeling a little bit poorly. But I thought I'd update you on the gas situation. So we filled up with gas before we left Spain. We've done near enough three months in Morocco. Drum roll, please. Let's see how much gas we've got left. Quarter of a tank. There we go. So we've still got a quarter of a tank left. How much was that? What, well, six pounds? Six euros? That's not bad. Oh. First park up back in Spain and of course we have come to La Linea. Now that might not ring a bell but it is the town which is right next to Gibraltar. This is somewhere we always come, I think we'll always come back here. It's basically in a massive, massive marina. We love the boats, we love the view of Gibraltar. It's just brilliant, absolute feel good vibes and we're quite happy, really, really happy today. It feels really, really good. Kids have got their skateboards out so this one I'll show you. There's absolutely massive space for the kids to skateboard and scooter. And if you look really closely, you'll see Rick up the other end coming towards us on his skateboard. He's joined the kids and got his own one. Here he comes. <laughs> Getting the hang of it? <laughs> Boys and their toys, eh? So he's got his drone back to play with. Now he's got a skateboard to play with. He's never going to do any work, is he? Coming up next week, our plans dramatically change and we find ourselves making a mad dash back to the UK for something really very exciting, which signals the start of a new chapter for our family. We hope you'll join us.